So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose. Should I do the clap? Hold on. What up, what up, what up? Night Nation, it's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to tap into this, man. Um, I imagine I'm going to post this on both channels, bro. Anyway. Um, yeah. So we all know this damn Diddy situation has just gone past the point of no return. You feel me? All the property's been raided. Um... Don't know what's in the subpoena. Don't know what they looking for. But it's been insinuated that uh, Diddy is tied up in a little bit of pedophilia. <laughs> I'm a little, I don't know why I'm saying a little bit, bro. Uh, I don't know. Diddy, Diddy, it's a rap. It's, it's curse for that man, bro. It's a rap, dog. <laughs> it's a rap, bro. <laughs> that ship is sunk. Because sold all the shares of Revolt. Bro, I, I, it's like, it's not a damn couple seconds that go by on whatever platform that I'm browsing through that I don't see something Diddy affiliated that says, it's just saying some crazy shit. But like today, I seen that, what's this girl, Young Miami, I don't know that's his wife, his girl, what his whole, I don't, I don't know, just, who, who, who knows a Diddy, bro? But she just got implicated in uh, court docs saying that she is on retainer smuggling this man cocaine, like pink cocaine, like he be sending her wire transfers. <laughs> For, for her to bring him cocaine like uh what else did i see of course the little mule that was caught up with him some little white boy who's supposedly a mule smuggling him more cocaine and weed bro it's just it's just it's it just keep going keep going and of course you know a couple days ago all his properties is raided homeland security so that leads me to believe it's definitely some human trafficking something affiliated sexual trafficking pedophile associated most specifically especially what's been allegated in these court docs with him with some little girls and whatnot bro so then fox news um they bring up the bieber diddy video Sean Diddy Combs wouldn't disclose antics with Justin Bieber in resurfaced video with Teen Star, right? Like back then, I, I, I remember that video. I remember it. I remember, yeah. Yeah, there was always a weird stigma following Diddy. Like he has always been speculated. This, this fool has been in some weird stuff. But the pedophile stuff is some more recent uh, allegations. Before, it was just like the gay stuff. Right, like he really into doing, <laughs> he's been known to uh, pump some butts and final balls for quite some time now. It's always been that way for decades. I don't think anybody was thinking that he was messing with any kids, right? But now that that narrative is out here, like God only knows what Cuz was doing or what he has been doing with kids. You know what I'm saying? The little girls have come out saying they 14, 15, 16 years old and did he doing all types of stuff with them but then he did he like the men too like the bbc's most specifically but, but then shit comes out of like a damn movie bro it's like epstein to the third power because he blackmailing all these fools keeping them handcuffed <laughs> you know what I'm saying doping people up making them do all types of crazy stuff and then he got them he got them there so i'm only wondering like what 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 you think he got Bieber fucking doing, bro? Anyway, um, this video, bro. We just so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a fifteen year old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have 
been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed the Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. A man after my heart. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I know it's Diddy and shit, bro, but like as a fucking parent, like what parent is going to leave a 14-year-old child with a 40-year-old man for two days? Because I don't give a damn who the fuck you are. You ain't family. You ain't the uncle. You ain't the cousin. Like, for real, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's the way cousin was talking. I mean, it comes across as like marketing, right? You know, young little cutie ass innocent beaver about to be shown the world by Diddy, dog. But it's just definitely has a whole entirely different feel now especially considering the fact that usher has disclosed his experiences with diddy when he was like 13 14 bro like usher 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 lived with diddy for like a year because when on Howard Stern, they even talk about it in this fucking article. I don't remember this shit, too. That's what drives the point even further, bro. Because Usher was like a little boy. He was 13. And he lived with Diddy for a year. And he wouldn't even... He, he wouldn't really talk about the shit he saw. You know what I'm saying? He just saw, he just said it was some weird shit, bro. A conversation between Usher, who signed Bieber at the age of 13... And Howard Stern from a 2016 video resurfaced when the rapper spoke about the curious things he witnessed living with Diddy as a teenager. Moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn <laughs> Flavor some... Camp? Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Cuz said it was curious. He said, nah, really, not not really a hose busting open. It was curious. You think that mean? You think that mean? Curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. You all know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans, Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, I, and, what kind, and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Yeah, Diddy got uh, Bieber too, bro. He got Bieber and he got Usher's butt. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna prove it, but uh, Diddy definitely got their butts too. I wonder who else other. I wonder all the motherfucking butts he's got, bro. We about to find out here pretty soon, bro. When they do this damn R. Kelly doc, or not R. Kelly. When they do this Diddy documentary, bro, it's gonna shut the world down. This shit gonna be crazy. It's gonna make. Everybody look at the whole industry entirely different. As fucked up as the industry seems already from just the speculation that we we do, bro. But like Diddy is it seems like he is the pillar of that shit. <laughs> but I'm sure it goes way beyond Diddy. Somebody had to introduce Diddy to that shit. Cause I don't think Diddy was just some crazy demonic gay animal coming out of fucking Howard, bro. Like somebody got his ass. Maybe it was LA Reed. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. One of these somebody got somebody got his ass, dog. But when Diddy finally get arrested, 
and get charged and, and, and his freedom finna get taken away, bro. Uh, I, I'd imagine he gonna start singing or they all and everybody gonna come out the woodwork, bro. We gonna see how weird and gay and, 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 and monstrous and demonic and sick and sadistic these motherfuckers is, bro. Usher ass was just sitting there talking in a bunch of circles, bro. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much saying, dog, they was doing a lot of gay shit. Curious? Fuck's curious, man. They was doing some gay shit. Diddy had him doing some gay shit. Imagine he, I imagine he got up in Bieber's butt too, bro. But, uh, well, this shit getting wild, man. Shit getting wild.